What's going on everyone, Daniel Rodriguez here and welcome to my Logan Quick Review, the first superhero film for 2017 and the last Wolverine film for Hugh Jackman. Uh, stars Pat Sir Patrick Stewart, uh, the guy from Narcos, Hoyd Holbrook if I'm not mistaken, I got a, I got a poster right here, very lucky, uh, Stephen Merchant, Boyd Holbrook, Richard E. Grant. Uh, introducing Daphne Keene, Logan, man, the final Wolverine film, uh, Hugh Jackman's last outing, absolutely, absolutely, very, very exciting to see. I saw it in IMAX. Uh, it's not available in IMAX 3D, it's just regular IMAX, and uh, I am actually going to see it again in less than an hour at another theater, so I'll be seeing it two times. Expect my spoiler review and non-spoiler review to be coming up soon as well. Anyway, this is a quick review. I just want to give you my thoughts on it real quick. This is not my full movie review, so in my full movie review, there are no spoilers there, nor are there no spoilers here. But in my movie review, I do pros, cons, and final score. But, uh, you know, easily, is this a film that you should see? If you're an X-Men fan, if you're a Wolverine fan, this is a film that we've all been waiting for. And it's always all those Wolverine films that, like, this is the Wolverine we've, you know, finally... Like this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. And yellow suit, yellow suit. Now anything like that, because I've always been saying that. Like, oh, we should see that. But realistically, in a film, you know, we got to be real about this. And this is a real thing. This is a, you know, this is a more realistic setting, uh, real world, rated R. There are no holds bar. There is a lot of fuck words or f words, uh, bad words. There's a lot of blood. This is like the final Wolverine we've wanted. Uh, just you know, cutting into somebody, no blood at all. It ain't those days anymore. We all knew it. We all knew it was gonna be rated R. Balls to the wall, heads coming off, faces slashed. Pieces falling. I mean, everything about it, man. The action is absolutely fantastic. I do have to say some of the, the camera angles and such, that did kind of get annoying after a while. So those are my complaints, like camera angles and such. Uh, but for real, Hugh Jackman is awesome in here. The girl, Daphne Keene, is a scene stealer. And she's she, very, very much, you just care for her. Uh, the bringing in that twist of like, oh, like this girl comes into your store. You just care. And of course, everyone loves Patrick Stewart. Uh, I, I believe it was Sir Patrick. I may have said Sir Patrick Stewart earlier. I thought it was Sir Patrick Stewart, but maybe Sir Ian McKillen as well. Uh, but Patrick Stewart in general, just Patrick Stewart is a fantastic man. I uh, absolutely love him. And he is awesome in here, man. All, all the actors do a really good job. Uh, really good to great. The action's awesome. Um, the opening, it, it, it goes rough. And it, it's now, mind you, uh, I, I really don't want to give, I'm not going to give anything away, but let me just tell you, it is a very, very uh, emotional, awesome ride. You have comedy in there, not like Deadpool comedy, but you have your, your moments of fun, you have your moments of hell yeah, you have your moments of tears, I mean, there are so many emotions, it's a, it's a journey from beginning to end, seeing where Logan is and transitioning to the end, it is really... I wouldn't say it's like, it's the greatest superhero film of all time. It's on the list of really, really good superhero films. And again, i only seen it one time. When I see it a second time and see everything again... We'll make, I'll, think, I'll make my final judgment in the movie review. Just this quick review. I thought it was a really good superhero film. Not really. I wouldn't even consider it a superhero film. It's a. It's just a film. Yeah, there's action. There's blood. And ah, you know, there's that. But it's so much more than a superhero film. I guess what I'm trying to say. It's a, 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 a real, just bonding film for the characters. And uh, really, that's all. I, I mean, I'm not being here, and, and I'm not saying that just because I'm a, a nerd and comic book fan and superhero fan. I'm not here being like, uh, it's going to be great. I told you all it's going to be great. There was no doubt in my mind that it was going to be really good, and it is a really good film. I love the first trailer. I thought they were going to make some, and nothing wrong with Japan or China or anything like that, but I thought it was going to be another China go-around. Uh, no, this is actually probably the best Wolverine film. Stand, stand, it's the best Wolverine standalone, but I'm glad that it's just called Logan, not 
Wolverine's final stand or X-Men, Wolverine, blah, blah, blah. It's just called Logan. And uh, it, it's, it's truly a really good film. Really good action. Music's... Uh, music, you don't really notice most of the music where it like, sticks with you and you sing hours in a car or something of that. But that's fine. You know, It, it, it had its time and uh, place. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I do recommend this film, whether you're a superhero fan. If you're a DC fan, Marvel fan, just come together, man. This is a film that is just... Again, really good. I don't want to say it's like, it's amazing. It has amazing moments in there. There were slow scenes that, yes, there are a few slow things. And I'm like, oh, this character. Uh, well, you, you, you kind of like the character shows up and there's like really, you know the name. But there's really like, how did he get here? Why is he here? What is he doing? They just, they show up like you're supposed to already know every character in a way. There's no real back information that you think there should have been more back information. And some things were cheesy for, like, like um, a character, like, explaining a lot of exposition. And you're like, this is very cheesy exposition. It's so forced. and so, You could tell certain things there. Anyway, it's still an enjoyable film. Really awesome. I'll see you guys later for my movie review and spoiler review for Logan. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Check it out in IMAX if you get the chance. Until next time, bye-bye.